Hey there, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button so you can be up to date with all the wacky and funny shit that we're going to be doing in the future. Come stick around and see how this video unfolds. Hope you have a good one. Alright, let's start to get a little hype in here. What do you guys think about fish? Uh, love them. A little weird, but I love them a lot. But I don't understand them at all, to be honest. I listen to the lyrics, and I have no idea what they're talking about. They drop albums? It's all a lie. It's 100% one song. I <laughs> He's not wrong. It's not wrong. Um, I have worked a fish show before, and it all sounded like one song. He's not wrong. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think it's one song. What? Acid grows your cerebellum in your brain, and methamphetamine kills your mind, makes holes in your brain. You get disconnected, and you're retarded, and you're criminals. Stop doing it. <laughs> Have you ever done methamphetamine before? Yes, of course I've done it. I'm from California. It's garbage. Stop jerking off and stop doing meth. Stop stealing and, and robbing people <laughs> and being fucking idiots. Smoke weed, you dumb little shits. Learn how to drive a stick shift, make a fire, and go camping. Play frisbee on LSD outdoors. Stop bullshitting around with your stupid thumbs. Fuck your thumbs and fuck your bullshit. I just Pretty got my mother's cool. card stolen in a skateboard park by tweakers. They stole my speaker, stole my car. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's kind of like the stuff you would probably hear. <laughs> stole my skateboard. I called the cops. They're dealing with it. And God bless. They could, if they needed a car that bad and a speaker, I gifted it to those kids. I'm not attached. I'm unlimited. I believe in the universe and music is my <laughs> religion. And when I die, I just want to come back as a song. Fish rules! It's the greatest band ever. They're better than ever right now. I've been seeing them since the 80s. I have a mortgage and a... Yeah, and them balloons. Oh god, them balloons. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of what it, <laughs> how it was in Santa Barbara. Uh, family. <laughs> Fucking vendors everywhere. But on the weekends, I do this. You're in a suit. Right. I'm not. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, um, I'm not a fish. <laughs> I'm not a fish. I'm here for fish. It was fucked up what they did to you, bro. It was Hell fucked yeah. up what they did to you, bro. What are you talking about? Man, they took your show and treated like shit, dude. You created it from uh, Boom. Fuck those people, dude. You still out here doing it? All gas, no what? Channel 5, <laughs> fool! Yeah. Hey, shout out to Channel 5. Boom, boom, boom. There are a few fans that are, like, pretty cool like that and all that shit. Freaking. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, man, it does get funnier and shit. Fucking. Oof. Fucking, I remember when, um, when the fish show that I had to work, I actually had to catch people from sneaking in and lay out. I remember I was up on a hill, like, pretty dark, like, the one that's behind this guy and shit. <laughs> Looks like it's a hill top kind of shit, though, but I remember just, like, was it, like, it, it looks very similar and shit. Just, like, just imagine me, like, somewhere, like, around there with a flashlight and a radio and fucking like people would be like climbing and shit like it would be like dipping down and fucking i remember i caught four people on a hill that kind of looks like this actually is this, this is i do wonder where this is shit oh no yeah it's a song about communication are you a good communicator yes <laughs> are you a strategic communicator yes <laughs> what's your favorite way to communicate Actually, Zoom and Microsoft oh, Teams because I, I work in the energy business. All my, all my kids are big fans of God. Andrew here. Really? Absolutely. Shout out to a Zane, lot of the Zoe, fans and Ruben. are Thanks. very nice. Though. The best like, dad you know, at like the fish you, lot. Like when you That's find right. them and everything, like Promise they are it. nice fans. Can I check your shirt out real quick? Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> Feminist Abercrombie. They, yep. There's always that one guy. <laughs> and Fitch. Oh my God. My sister gave it to me. You know. It's a nice shirt. Wait, when I grew up, um, like my dad. What does your dad do for a living? He was a monk. Yeah. Is he still a monk? No, he Some passed of them away six are pretty ago. deep. Rest in peace, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But he wore a rope and sandals and had <laughs> old school style. What's your plan to become a monk? Um, 
Yeah, I man. think I'm grounded, you know, and then find myself. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. That is one any, mellow any, guy. Just want to say to the world. Yeah, there you go. Good luck. A lot of people love fish for the community, and and rightfully so. It's it's something we all rally behind, and something we all love. Yeah, yeah. It gives you it gives you your clan. It makes me feel like I belong, like I'm like I'm home. I feel like I'm part of a group of people that knows what the hell this is all about. You know. And also, like, it just makes me fucking dance. I'm Mars Sanford, and I've been to around 230 fish shows. Worcester in 95, Olympic Center, Lake Placid, Harvard Civic Center, back to Madison Square Garden, back to Worcester, Philly, North Carolina, Wisconsin. Mm. And then that year for New Year's, oh, no, that was the year prior, New Year's. Wait, is that? No, 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 this, no, I'm right. Yeah, January 1st, 2015, where I met my wife. At its best times... Yeah, the show experience is a presence blackout. Like, that's that's what'll happen in the middle of the show. You'll think, oh my god, I forgot I still owe on my insurance bill, and like, oh my god, is everything gonna be okay at the hotel? Do I get this out of the car? And then you snap back to it, and you're like, no. I don't know if you've ever meditated, but it's like meditation where you're observing your thoughts and you just realize and you let them go. Yeah, yeah, presence I get is just true experience and ob observation of it. Hopefully. All right, yeah, I'm out here, bitch. I'm making your wish because I'm out here at Forum, bitch. I'm watching that fish, bitch. You know I got bars, bitch. You know that's a treat, bitch. I'm out here, bitch. I'm Big Maxi, and you know I'm the best. That's what you I thought. I can take my headphones off. I'm out off. here smoking on the fucking parking lot. God oh, damn yeah. it, bitch. You know this ain't no fake because I'm out here going viral. All gas, no brakes, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell. No, no, I'm good. Drop the mic. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's good. Really? Yeah. How can you tell? <laughs> Woo, Cincinnati! What's the best thing about Cincinnati? I don't really think there's anything good about Cincinnati. Well except for this Ohio chili. <laughs> it's just Ohio chili, baby. Do you have Cash App? I have Venmo. You should get Cash App. It's oh, a superior yeah. service. Cash App's amazing. I love Cash App. You should Hashtag get Cash App. Ad. I'm going to download it right now. Cash App. The best way to pay <laughs> oh, for legal Andrew. goods and services oh, buddy. Uh, in the lot outside of a fish concert. We're looking at a bunch of Fucking vintage perfect porn, video. and they're 20 <laughs> bucks a piece. Come find me any stop of the tour. There's really good bush in some of these. There's a bunch of bush oh, God. in the vintage porn. I'm good. I appreciate I never noticed so that here, part. So, you know, I, I, like <laughs> I, I go online now for my uh, masticatory needs for everything I need for <laughs> masticatory needs. Oh, well, you know, they're probably the one that starts with an X. My favorite category of porn, like my favorite category of food, there's extremely few categories of porn. Who's asking that about, I don't about like. porn? Uh, whether they, and whatever sexuality it is, whatever fetish it is, I would say just <laughs> I like so many different types of porn. For me, uh, variety is a spice. Uh, you like DILF domination <laughs> porn? Good one. The guy in the Keep them coming. Porn of people getting kicked in the nuts and stuff. I don't know. That that might be a little bit much, though. That that, that, that could be a little hardcore, yeah. Hi, Angela, if you're watching. Uh, I just saw some guy get knocked out for selling fake na fake gas. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that shit fake happens. Nitrous? Fake nitrous, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boom, dead down on the ground. That shit uh, happens. Nitrous. He and, and fucking hit a balloon, and it wasn't, and didn't get high, and he went and he fucking oh, hit the guy. It was crazy. Feel mm. bad for the guy who got knocked out? Mm. Nah, he was selling fake gas. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, and this is when they get into it. Yeah. This is the juicy stuff. Oh, yeah. They are real. Even rainbows have shadows. The Nitrous Mafia. Where do you find them? Oh, my God. Just listen to this. They don't fuck around. Nitrous Mafia do not fuck around, like. For real, like, they don't, like, they really don't care, like, what venue it is and everything. If they gotta, you know, if they gotta be, like, two blocks away, they'll be two blocks away and shit. Fucking, you know, not lying. Pretty easy to find them. <laughs> I remember I was actually, like, parked actually kind of near them. Didn't even know that's where they were gonna be. What's on your mind? <laughs> like, oh, man, they... <laughs> Oh my god. god. How many fish shows have you been to? Actually, I've, I've been in three different. Man, I remember. Like, I remember, like, I had to walk on the sidewalk 
where they were and shit. It was like I, you know, I just have to go through. It's like I was giving, <laughs> I was giving a coworker a ride and everything. It's just, God, I forgot what he said and everything. He's just like, I just remember the other guy. He's like, that sounds like a snitch. <laughs> I was just like, food dog, let's just get out of here, man. I'm like we're off the clock anyway. Off. I was like, I was telling him like, ah, man, we're off the clock anyways. Who gives a shit, man? Let's go home. <laughs> like freaking. Like, you know, we were kind of wondering, I'm like, I wonder if they're going to get caught. Hmm. You know, we'll find out maybe. <laughs> Most likely, they, you know, they probably get away all the time, you know. That's, that's how it is. Because I hate fish. You hate fish? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You, you don't like the music very much? It's, it's a noodling type thing, you know? It's, it's kind <laughs> of noodling. noodling around. And noodling around. You know? around. <laughs> Trey is a... Uh, one note. I need a fresh <laughs> He's like, get that, get that shit out of my face. I need a fresh balloon. Yeah. Fresh balloon. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Uh, Fish is a four musician, yeah. one loading director band that started in Vermont in the early 1980s. Yeah, I think I remember really him kind of talking about scale it or something around 1990 hmm. onwards signed to a major label, made multiple studio recordings, but is more known for their live performances. They encouraged their fans to trade audio tapes of their live shows. They didn't repeat their set list. They mm. improvised. They did different things every mm. night. So you don't like fish? I do not like fish. <laughs> <laughs> they felt like the sons of dentists who had access to nitrous tanks, who then, with the proceeds from nitrous, could buy cocaine. That's true. That's what I learned from the show, like the fish show that I did and everything freaking uh, it's yeah they like as yeah as far as i know what they do is that they sell the nitrous they use it for coke i guess you know that's just that's how it is i guess though but yeah that's true like it felt like that crowd and for my taste it was gimmicky and it felt i learned all this it before the video swing, it didn't rock um can i do a less dickish version of, of some of that conceptually fish the main guy, Trey, seems like a decent guy. There's some ideas that are good, but they keep making bad songs. You used to uh, kick it with Kurt Cobain, right? Yeah, I, I don't want to overstate it, but yeah. Did he fuck with Fish? No, I do not believe that Kurt Cobain fucked with Fish. Fish is probably the last band I would have ever talked to Kurt Cobain about. What about Dave Grohl? Huh? What's it, what's it like doing all those balloons? How, how do you feel? But yeah, freaking, um, but you know, on the sidewalk where the, uh, you know, Nitro Mafia was and everything, like there was a, there was actually a line of people like, um, you know, just imagine the sidewalk and everything, you know, the venues up and there, you know, just, you just got to keep going forward though. But, you know, just past the Nitro Mafia, like you would see like a bunch of people, um, you know, just sitting outside or something, you know, it's like they, they'd be sitting down with the, you know, like, like this or something you know that practically means like you know you need to take it or something if anyone's selling them i guess and freaking like what this like like what what they didn't um you know add in and everything about like how hard it is for some people to not get a ticket though but you know their like their fan base is very big so and i remember when they came to you know like to the venue where i work at and everything you know we only held five thousand though and no oh, there's so many fucking yeah i remember i caught four people uh one guy was high as shit on acid <laughs> he was high as hell and freaking i like i remember i caught this guy behind a tree or whatever and freaking like you know like you know i i I just, uh, you know, asked, I asked, like, what to do and stuff, and they were like, just escort him out. And fucking, like, he did not want to go. He, oh, my God, he kicked and screamed. He kicked and screamed. That guy just wanted to get in. I'm just like, dude, you should have bought a ticket. He's like, it was, too, it was too much money. I'm like, I'm like, you know, it's not my, you know, that's not my fault, man. I'm doing my job, you know. Uh, and oh my god, like I got him out of there. He kicked and screamed though, but I did my job. And then apparently, what this guy did, he fucking climbed up a tree. 
guy, <laughs> this dude, and this dude did not want to leave it. And someone reported that someone was up in a tree and fucking what they had to do. They had to get the local police, which thank you. You guys are awesome for that. And fucking just this guy is just like, you know, just up there. He's all like, you know, and just to remind you, this guy's high on acid. So he's just like, doesn't want to get down. And the police are telling him like, get down or we will arrest you. He's like, I can't, I don't want to get down or I think you're going to arrest me. And freaking <laughs> like, they told him like, as your punishment, you have to get down. Cause, um, like I remember I did call that guy in. And that was just the only punishment that he had to get down because like when you're in that state of mind, like things are not as, as they appear as, <laughs> as they are, you know, it's like this guy, you know, feels like he's like way high off the ground and fucking that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. It was just like, you know, the people, you know, just the fan base and everything. But it's just like, you know, I don't care what you do. Don't give me a hard time, you know, do your thing. Don't get caught, whatever, you know, fucking, you know, just don't do stupid stuff, you know? <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, up that shit. Up that shit. Up that shit. Channel 5 Live, but what? And then you can have fun like them. <laughs> good gas ain't cheap and cheap gas ain't good. If it's not bigger than your head, it won't put you to bed. We got the best gas on the line. Hey, my man, I hope going off. And if you get that cheap smoke, shit out here, you die. You hear me? Is there a point at which someone has done so many balloons that you're going to cut them off and be like, no more? No. Huff till you die. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they just tell him to go sit down. Really? They, no. Like, not even Jerry Garcia. They just tell him to go sit down over there and go chill. Yes, yeah, it's the, the baby. Don't bring attention. Right? Your sticker is the baby inside of the <laughs> Well, aren't we all? Forgot about this part of the Hey, the baby. The baby. I just met you tonight. You seem like a pretty good guy when your sticker was put on my shirt. <laughs> I don't. And I had to buy a couple stickers. I don't think that the guy that put that sticker <laughs> on you was the baby. I'm the designer of these right here. And what led you to design this? The baby's great. Actually, greatest rapper alive right now. What's your favorite the baby song? I like his collabs. I don't fucking know right now. Can you spit four of your favorite the baby bars real quick? They all contain the N word. So what I did, like. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. Kind of down to five minutes right now. Ready? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. You know, like, but I did learn a thing or two when I saw this. I'm like, god damn, they're way more wild than I thought. This probably was a. Hell, I bet this venue probably like housed like a like what like twenty five thousand maybe shit. Looks pretty big. Five minute countdown. Right the fuck now. Right the, right the fuck now. Are you ready? Are you ready? For what? I know, and I gave you a five minute countdown. And I'll <laughs> fucking show you. What's happening in five minutes? <laughs> Too many questions. <laughs> well, of course, she's got to have a few balloons with her too. She's on one. A pretty good cat lady. He doesn't want to go. What the hell's going on? <laughs> missing out. Oh, I heard you. How many times have you tabbed it? Over a hundred. Do you have a lifetime tab goal? No. Just just keep on tabbing and having fun. <laughs> Hello. Um. Wow, you're worth 300. That's great. Who are you? Who is that guy? I don't know. Is it a friend of yours? No, but he looks, it's an amazing painting. And he's waiting to see your butthole. He's screaming. <laughs> it's the face of anticipation as he's waiting to see a butthole. This is the guy we have to show our anus to. Hey, guy. Man, you know what? I gotta take an edible oh. <laughs> the, Their take on forcing people to get vaccinated oh, is bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that they should have a spine. And that they should actually stand up for people's rights. You know what? Yeah. That's what we, that's the message we have to say to fish. Yeah. Yeah. 
fuck fish. Okay. It's the whole fucking scene. Everybody who's out for the money. I think we're being strong armed. Pe people from the psychedelic movement should think higher. This would have never flown 30 yeah, years they ago. They should think higher than all of this shit. But I think they're being strong armed. Hello. Wake up. Have you been in Berkeley? Oh have you been to Berkeley? Uh, yeah. 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 yeah you go walk around Berkeley people, and talk you know? to people. They'll, they'll tell you all about it. It's about waking up. When did yeah, she's like, what the fuck are you talking um, about now? I think it changed with the newer generation. Like, you can't teach old school. Like, that you can only get strains of it. And then me the media gets into it. And the media does things. And young people, you know, they're looking for a certain message. And so... The, power, the power's within you, you know? Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I feel bad for anybody who uh, who thinks that it's part of a ploy to get us vaccinated. <laughs> it is a shame to leave <laughs> just four nerdy aging millionaires into your conspiracy theory. I'll say that. I think it's a uh, cover. But you know, some of these people are, you know, like, like yeah, I remember so like long. everyone that tried to sneak in or something I caught though, but I. You know, it's like we caught him though, but I remember this one guy freaking the last guy I caught and everything. Oh god, I was just out of energy and stuff and like he was a nice guy though, but I was just like and he got there like in the last five like I caught him in the last five minutes. And fucking I was just like I was like, dude, like, you know, what are you doing here or whatever? Freaking blah blah blah. You know, it's like it was pretty dark and everything, fucking <sighs> Like, to be honest, I remember that guy. He wasn't so bad. Like, you know, like, for... I remember for a while, I was... I kept, I remember I kept looking for that person. And fucking... So, you know, just kind of like what I told you before. There's, like, a little incline and everything. Like, like to get like to get over this hill where I was at and everything, you have to, you have to go... Like, you know, you could park at a certain place, though. But you have to climb and all that shit, though. But, you know, not saying where it is, though. But I remember this guy fucking I, I i knew i kept hearing someone though and i was just like i thought there was someone down in an incline so i remember i just kept like i grabbed rocks i just got like small rocks i'm like i'm throwing rocks and <laughs> it was like i remember I just kept going for a while and i'm just like and i guess the guy like he was behind a tree i eventually caught him in the last five minutes though but he never he never got in that guy never got in and Fucking, I kind of asked him, I'm like, how long have you been sitting, sitting sitting there? He's like, yeah, for about 15 minutes and stuff. And he's like, I couldn't make it through. And <laughs> he's like, you did a good job and kind of scaring me. It's just like, I was nowhere down there, though. But, you know, they're like, they're really not that bad. You know, like, fish fish fans are cool. Fucking, I just, I just remember that last guy and everything. I was just like, he's like, he was just. He, he honestly, he was just like, I'm sorry. And I was just like, you're sorry. You know, it's like, like, yeah, I, th I think he got there. Like, he just, he was just, he just got halted, I remember. And like, and got to hear stuff, though, but. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I kind of fucked up his mood. Because I just kept trying to talk to him and talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. And be like, you kind of have to get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get, you know? One operation to but he wasn't a bad a, kid, you know. Sort of corral for some like, I guess that guy, the, the last person I caught, he was like, yeah, my mom died I'm not like sure two years ago. I'm still going through stuff. I'm like, but yeah. I think it's rooted in some really special magical He wasn't things, a bad so kid. A magic here. Just didn't have money and for tickets and he... Stasis Zero that well. or so fucking like he couldn't of, it's like a consciousness like they were all sold vector. out too it's a consciousness program you know so I, I I've come to believe that they're sort of like a uh, hyper hyper intelligent sort of uh, interdimensional forces um, coordinating events on this plane of existence but <laughs> it's still spinning you know for as a, as a community everyone here seems awesome 
It is. It's it's very lo it's very loving. People are really here for the music, and I think that it, given the music industry and things that are going on, if you looked at it from the perspective of like, they are there are higher dimensions and there are other planes of existence. They might be off planet, they might be in planet, or they might be on other planes. But I think that that's being coordinated by forces that have higher t intelligence than the average human. You know, coordinate, and they're they're probably vying with each other for control. And I think that, you know, that's what I meant by government program. And, you know, they're coordinating government as well through, you know, the obvious channels. What are you doing? Sit, talk, walking around, talking to people, seeing what's up. That's what ah, I'm doing. We're doing the same thing. So <laughs> what have you learned today? It just sounds like I have a better voice for uh, broadcast. For broadcast. But you can have it too. I went to broadcast journalism school and nothing really works as well as these balloons, I guarantee you. Really? Mm hmm? You want to try it? Stay. Too scared. You're watching Channel 5 <laughs> News. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. What kind of stuff do you do? Ow! He's like, <laughs> island boys. I went to island boys. I also tap into, like, um, a huge feeling of, not to be dark or dismal, but, like, insignificance. Like, I'm here, and I'm an expert at fish, and I've seen 230-whatever shows, and I've, like, spent all this money, I've seen them all over the place and for so many years. So it's like, I'm tapped in, and it, and it means so much to me, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that important. Oh, is this the end? Oh, uh, it's the end. All right. Well, all right. That was a good video, but that you did. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, well, that's pretty much fish. And then that's my stories of the when I had to work a fish concert as a guard. <laughs> Shit. So have a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. Come hit that like and subscribe. Come take a look at the new merch shop and everything. Got some mugs. Get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want. You know, just. Hell, come join the Discord, got a Facebook group, come join me on Twitter. Everything that, uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So, uh, thanks for coming, man.